Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at celebrities thirsting over Brad Pitt. We'll also be sharing some interesting facts about his career. Let's get this started. What I was doing was talking out loud in the elevator, and then Brad Pitt was standing right next to me, but he said, well, if I'm single in a year and you're single in a year, maybe we can get together and see what happens. And I was like, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> For real? Wow! There's a rumor that Brad posed for a campus calendar in college. Would you have bought a copy? He dropped out of his journalism degree two credits shy of graduating and moved to Los Angeles for acting lessons. During his time in Los Angeles, Brad was a mascot for El Pollo Loco and even a limo driver for strippers. Of course, you take odd jobs to try to, you know, to pay the rent. And one of those jobs was a, uh, well, I was driving strippers to bachelor parties. And I basically had to, you know, uh, get them there, get them back, play the music, catch the clothes so the guys didn't steal them, get the money, and, and out. Anyways, I did that for like three months, and it was in really interesting job. Uh, learned a lot. His nickname in high school was Brad the Pit Bull. In 1999, one of Brad's 19-year-old fans crawled into his home through an open window, dressed herself in his clothes and stayed for 10 hours before being discovered. She was ordered to stay away from Brad for three years. The time that I was there when he was there, and I, I literally left early. I just saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and it was so good, and he just like gets better with age. So I was like, I gotta go. Like, Why? You didn't want to meet him? <laughs> no, because isn't there a saying like, don't ever meet your superhero or whatever? I don't know. I just like love him so much. I'm like, I'm just going to leave it at that. And wow. Like, leave. No I get way. nervous. And I, like, Brad was banned from entering China because of his role in seven years in Tibet. Chinese officials were unhappy with the portrayal of their people. So Brad was kept out of the country for 19 years. It was this auction. Thing that happened, and um, I was kind of thinking, oh, this is absolutely mental. And someone went, it's Brad Pitt, and I was like, lol. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I look over uh, to the room, and he's got his paddle up. Brad's paddle. Brad's paddle. <laughs> he learned to fly cast for a movie role by practicing on top of buildings in Hollywood. It took him a lot of practice because he often hooked himself in the back of his head. Are Brad Pitt and Jennifer Lawrence dating? No, but I'm not super excited to shut that rumor down. Brad sued the company Damiani International, which created the wedding ring he gave Jennifer Aniston. He came up with the design, and it was meant to be exclusive, but the company sold replicas saying the ring was endorsed by Brad and Jennifer. The lawsuit was settled in 2002. It's unfortunate Brad and Jen divorced in 2005. Do you have a problem with me? I don't know. Do I? Do I? I think you do. <laughs> he tore his Achilles tendon during filming for the movie Troy. It just so happened his character's name was Achilles as well. So I was in my dressing room and I had just finished performing and um, they knocked on my door and they said, um, Brad Pitt would like to come in. And I was like, well, he could come in, so. <laughs> and he, but I was trying to play cool and be really nice. And then as soon as he walked out, I ran and I hid under the craft service table for like two minutes because I couldn't believe it was happening. Brad's favorite movie to have acted in is also the one with the worst performance at the box office. The Assassination of Jesse James is a film he believes will one day be regarded with the same admiration he has for it. There's a real lyrical slow burn. It's really my kind of storytelling, the storytelling I love most. So. Brad Pitt is always eating. Even his characters do it. Since he's busy filming, he finds it easier to eat on set. He's eaten everything from cheeseburgers to pot roast and pancakes. Now that's clever filmmaking. I, it was fine. I actually ended up, I got to meet Brad Pitt. But... Yeah, no, it's, it's more than meet Brad Pitt. Yeah. Brad is a fantastic actor, but he prefers being behind the scenes instead. He even owns a production company called Plan B Entertainment. The company is responsible for award-winning movies The Departed, 12 Years a Slave, and Moonlight. Brad won an Oscar for 12 Years a Slave. When I started out as an actor, I wondered about producers, just what the f*** do they do? <laughs> Besides sit around on set all day, I'm now painfully aware of all that you do, and I commend you all. One of Brad's favorite movies is Saturday Night Fever. As a kid, he had to sneak in to watch it as it was an R-rated film. Brad said it holds a special place in his heart. So I see Brad Pitt and I'm like, 
I, like, I've seen him before, but every time you see him, it's sort of like, you're thinking it's like a river runs through it, like, you know? <laughs> you like think he's gonna like move in slow motion and then you imagine yourself looking really pretty in like a white nightgown. And... Although he doesn't cry often, Brad Pitt shed a little tear at the ending of How to Train Your Dragon. Have you seen the movie? I'm not much of a crier of films. I'll tear up every now and then, but not much of a crier. Recently, How to Train Your Dragon did get me. At the end, he's lost his leg and they live in harmony with the dragons. That was, um, it got me. Brad Pitt is friends with fellow actors and co-stars George Clooney, Julia Roberts, Matt Damon, Kate Blanchett, and Edward Norton. Brad is such a good friend, he made a guest appearance for free on George's film Confessions of a Dangerous Mind to support his directorial debut. Brad donated $5 million of his own money to help rebuild homes in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. Thank goodness that you came along and and uh, are doing something about this because it's still, we have a, a long way to go still, right? If you check in with us a year from now, you're going to see 100, over 100 homes behind me. Wow. We're, we're moving fast and uh, it's, it's really exciting to see. He is also a patron of the Mindseeker Foundation Soul of Africa, a campaign dedicated to detecting and removing landmines in Africa. He was so sweet and he's like, oh, it's so good to see you. And he went to give me a hug and I was like, oh, it's happening. And then I realized I can't hug him. I have pink eyes. So I was like, no, no, no. And in that moment, I became the first woman in history to reject a hug from Brad wow, Pitt. Wow. But very what you may not know about Brad is that he loves architecture. Brad decided to do an informal apprenticeship at architect Frank Gehry's office after renovating his own wine cellar. Architecture has the ability to lift your soul, that we are susceptible to our surroundings. Brad Pitt owns and plays Taylor's guitars. He admits that although he loves music, he isn't very good at making it. So your mother a big fan, yeah. but Brad Pitt also a very big fan. <laughs> that was the best night of my life. Yeah, I just kind of looked over with just the most insane emoji heart eyes being like, this is just the greatest <laughs> moment of my life. He also has a pilot's license. We're glad he's better at flying than playing guitar. Brad's favorite snack is pizza, and he prefers Frosted Flakes to any other cereal. Leave a comment below telling us your favorite cereal. I have it here. Ta-da! <laughs> the crush continues. Yes, the crush continues. We shouldn't show that. I'm embarrassed. Okay, that's my little right. thing. Spend the day with anybody who would it be, famous or not? Um, Brad Pitt. Brad is a huge fan of Jackass. He once appeared on the show dressed as an ape so he wouldn't be recognized. He also got kidnapped as himself and thrown into a van in the series finale while lining up for a hot dog. Bystanders actually called 911 because they thought Brad Pitt was in danger. Still alive, baby? And that wraps up our video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more binge-worthy videos just like this one. You ain't as bad as you're cooking, sweetheart.